Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to use the original shadows to any background. So like this shadow right here, you can use it in another background. So let's start. First, I'm going to extract a woman from this background. So once extracted, I'm going to make a new layer and I'm gonna paint this with gray or white it doesn't matter you choose the color or let's say we have this in any other background with roads or in a room or anything so we have this but we need the shadow so what are we gonna do next is I'm gonna disable these two layers and I'm going to desaturate this this layer the original one control shift u and i'm gonna invert it control i now i'm gonna mess with the levels control l or you can get the levels in the adjustment right here so i'm gonna try to make all the background dark so as dark as, as possible so i'm just gonna get this point and try to make dark darker the background like something like this I'm gonna get the middle one and like this I think that looks better uh, okay let's do this I'm gonna click OK so now I'm gonna invert the image one more time control I to invert it then I'm going to put this below the extracted one and I'm gonna change the blend mode to multiply now I'm gonna make visible the background layer and next I'm going to make visible the extracted one so that like you can see we have the shadow where we want it to but we also have other type of shadows on the background so we're going to add a layer mask to the to this layer to the multiply layer and we're going to use the brush tool to erase those areas so just erase all these we don't need it And now let's uncheck the eye to see what we have. Let's erase this because we, we don't need this. And let's make it visible. So that you can see we already have the shadow. If you think it's too light then use the levels one more time and move the dark point a little bit to make it darker so like this and click OK so there you go as you can see you have the original shadow of this image in another background and like I said before you can change this background with any color and you're gonna have your shadow just put this and any other background so this is how you can keep or use the original shadow in any background I hope this I, I hope you find this helpful and thanks for watching don't forget to like this video share comment and subscribe thank you and see you next time